Hi there, and welcome to Educator.com. This is a lecture on integration by parts. The main equation for integration by parts is right here. The integral of u dv is equal to uv minus the integral of v du. And where this comes from is it, is it comes from the product rule in reverse. The product rule is something you learned in Calculus 1 as a way to take derivatives of products of functions. Um, this is kind of changing around the product rule and using it as an integration formula. The point of integration by parts is that you'll be given what is at first a hard integral to solve. And what you're going to do is take the integral that you're given and split it up into two parts, a u part and a dv part. And then you'll invoke this formula to convert it into uv minus the integral of v du. And if you do that right, then the second integral that you get will be an easier integral. And then you can finish the problem by doing that easier integral. So that's the idea of integration by parts. But of course, the point of uh, the, the, the best way to learn it is to do lots of examples. So let's go on and do some examples. So here's the first example, a very typical integration by parts problem. We're trying to integrate x sine x dx. So remember, the first part is to split this integral up into u and dv. And we're going to let u be just x and dv be sine x dx. You always put the dx with the dv part. And then we're going to figure out du and v, because those were both parts of the formula before. So du, if u is x, du is just dx. And v, if dv is sine x, v is the integral of sine x. So the integral of sine x is negative cosine x. And then remember the integration by parts formula was the integral of u dv is equal to uv minus the integral of v du. So now the integral that we're given, because we've, we've converted it using our substitution, it's, that's now the integral of u dv. And using the integration by parts formula, that converts into uv. Well, uv is minus x cosine x minus the integral of v du. So minus the integral of v du. So that's minus cosine x dx. OK, I'm going to cancel these two negative signs. So now we have minus x cosine x. Now, this new integral, you can see, is just cosine x. That's a much easier integral to deal with than we started with. The integral of cosine x is just sine x. And I'm going to add on the constant, because you always have a constant for an indefinite integral. And then we have our answer is negative x cosine x plus sine x plus a constant. So let's try a trickier example. Uh, x squared e to the 3x dx. Again, we're going to divide it up into a u and a dv. And so we'll let u equal x squared and dv be e to the 3x dx. And again, we've got to figure out u, sorry, du and v. So du, if u is x squared, is 2x dx. And v is the integral of e to the 3x dx. So that's 1 3rd e to the 3x. And then I'm going to write down the integration by parts formula again. The integral of u dv is uv minus the integral of v du. And we've taken our, our example integral and we split it up into u dv again. So invoking the formula again. That's uv, so that's 1 3rd x squared e to the 3x minus the integral of v du. So v du is, there's a 1 3rd and there's a 2. I'll combine those as 2 thirds on the outside. Um, x e to the 3x dx. Now, what we have here is another integral. It's easier than the first one because it has an x instead of an x squared. 
However, it's still not an integral that we can do directly. So what we have to do is integration by parts again. And this is a very common issue with integration by parts. So we're going to do integration by parts again on this new integral. I'll let u equal x dv equal e to the 3x dx. And again, fill in du equals dx. And v is 1 third e to the 3x. And we still have that first term. Minus 2 thirds. Now we have the integral of u dv. So again, using our integration by parts formula, that's uv, the new u and the new v. So 1 third x e to the 3x minus the integral of v du, so minus the integral of 1 third e to the 3x dx. And I'm just going to focus on this stuff on the right. So this is minus uh, 2 ninths x e to the 3x. And then the two minuses give you a plus uh, 2 ninths. Now, the integral of e to the 3x is 1 third e to the 3x. And so if we put all those parts together, we get 1 third x squared e to the 3x minus 2 ninths x e to the 3x plus 2 twenty sevenths e to the 3x, oops, 2 twenty sevenths e to the 3x plus a constant. And that's the answer. So the moral of that example there is that sometimes you have to do integration by parts twice in the same problem. Um, first, we had to do integration by parts to reduce the original x squared down to an easier integral that just had an x in it. But that still wasn't an integral we could do directly. We had to do integration by parts again to reduce the x, well, actually, to make the x go away and give us an integral that we could do directly. So that's a pretty common story with integration by parts, is that you have to do it twice. I want to teach you a, a secret shortcut to doing integration by parts problems. Um, this is just kind of a bookkeeping device, but it can help you do some of these problems really quickly. So it's called tabular integration, and I'm going to introduce it with an example. And I'm going to redo the same problem that I just did. So remember, that problem was x squared e to the 3x dx. So here's the secret shortcut. What you do is you write x squared e to the 3x, and you make a little table here. And on the left-hand side, you write down derivatives. So the derivative of x squared is 2x. Derivative of that is 2. And then the derivative of a constant is just 0. On the right-hand side, so those were all derivatives. On the right-hand side, you take integrals. So the integral of e to the 3x is 1 third e to the 3x. And the integral of that is 1 ninth e to the 3x. And the integral of that is 1 27th e to the 3x. And then this is just a clever little trick, but it saves time over doing the problem the previous way. You draw these little diagonal lines, and then you put little positive and negative signs on the diagonal lines, just alternating plus, minus, plus. And then what you do is you multiply along these diagonal lines, and those give you the terms of your answer. So you get x squared times 1 30 to the 3x. Now, the next diagonal line is minus 2x over 9 e to the 3x. And the next diagonal line is plus 2 over 27 e to the 3x. And then, of course, you attach a constant at the end, and there's your answer. So that's just kind of a clever bookkeeping way of suppressing all the, the grunt work of going through the u and dv stuff. And it works really fast for certain kinds of problems. If you have a polynomial like x squared times something like e to the 3x or cosine x or sine x, where it's easy to take integrals, then this tabular integration trick works really nicely.